Hello guys, welcome to my channel. You are watching how to fix tech. In this video, I am going to show how to resolve the issue your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. There are many codes when you face this issue, but whatever code you have, I am going to fix this issue for you. I will show you step by step how you can resolve this issue easily. In this video, I will show you two conditions. First user who are able to access their PC, they can easily access the advanced repair options. Okay. You need to just hold shift key and then click on restart. You will get the same options here. Advanced screen. You need to access this screen, advanced screen. And for those users who are not able to access their PC, they need to shut down their system forcefully two to three times as soon as the windows loads or the manufacturer logo appears on your desktop. You need to press the power key for five to 10 seconds to properly shut it down and then turn it on and then do this two to three times and you will get the automatic repair loop and then after that your PC did not start correctly. Then you need to click on the advanced options and you will get all the options like this. After that I will show you how you can resolve this issue easily. You need to click on this option troubleshoot. Okay then click on the advanced options here. Now you will see more options. Okay. You can also try this startup repair if you are facing this issue first time. This will work. If you are regularly facing this issue, I am going to show how you can resolve this issue with the command. Click on the command prompt option here. You may have to enter the credentials in order to access the CMD. Now type here the command sfc space slash scan now. This will repair your corruption inside the windows. SLC stands for system file checker, which will scan all the corruption inside your windows and repair those. Okay. The main cause of this error behind is windows corruption files. So this command is going to fix those. There may be the hardware issue as well on your system. So we are not talking about that. We will fix the software issues. Wait for the process to complete. Now this command is completed now. It took almost 10 minutes. One more command you need to type here to repair your hard disk issues. Bad sectors and all the things inside the hard drive. You need to type a chk. PSK space slash F space slash R space C colon. Okay, you need to hit enter after that. F will repair bad sector inside your hard drive and R will repair the corruption inside your windows as well as the hard drive. C is we are referring here the windows drive letter. You can change it. You have the windows in C drive or D drive. In my case, the window is in D drive. Okay. You need to give it column and then hit enter. Now this will go in a five stages. It will also repair your all the corruption inside hard drive as well as the windows. So you need to wait for the process to complete. These two commands are most powerful to repair any windows corruption and any issues. Is. Now I am fast forwarding this video to save your time. You can see here looking for bad clusters in users file data. This is the scanning and repairing. Now this command has completed now. Now after that you need to type here exit. Okay. And now click on the continue with window 10. Your issue should be fixed with these two commands. And if you are still facing the same issue, I will show you the third method how we can try to repair our windows corruption as well as the config files. We will replace the config files with the new one. So in this process, no harm or loss to your data. So you can try 
these methods easily you need to hold shift key button and click on the restart option here like this in order to access the advanced options click on restart and hold the shift key until you get the advanced screen hold it now release the shift key now click on the troubleshoot option again click on advanced options okay now click on the command prompt option enter the password here i am clicking on continue i did not enable the password okay now in the command prompt we are going to recover and the repairing the config files by which your window boots okay so there will be no loss to your data you can perform this step easily first what you need to do to make sure that where is your window is installed so how we can define that it is basically in c drive in most of the cases okay you need to identify it first now type as c and then give it colon hit enter now type here dir to get the all the directories okay in my case the window is not installed my c drive i have already told you i am not getting here the users windows and other files now when what i need to type here if you are getting the windows users and five files here it means that your window is inside the c drive if not you need to type a d then again give colon then dir okay now you can see the five files here perform logs program files program files 86 users and windows okay it means that we are in a correct drive now you need to type as cd space slash this slash windows okay then slash now you can see the command on the screen as well okay now type as system 32 system 32 then the slash okay then type config and hit enter let me minimize this okay we are in a config folder okay we need to rename the config file here now now type here md space backup and hit enter okay okay now you can see the a subsidiary or file backup already exist so what i need to type here md backup and one okay you need to type the previous one md backup you can see I am in a config folder and we have and now we are enabling the backup of registry files after that you need to type here the commands now we need to type config file to md backup one so when you what we need to type here copy space asterisk okay then give it the dot asterisk space and then type here backup okay backup one in my case hit enter now you can see the 11 files have been copied now now after that type have the cd space regback okay and hit enter you can get all the commands inside my description box you can also watch on a screen now type here copy space asterisk dot asterisk space and then dot dot this one and hit enter now you can see the registry file have been copied type here the all okay now after backing up the registry file your system will boot with the fresh backup files now you need to type here all and hit enter okay okay now these command have been successfully enabled in my system and we have successfully enabled the backup files config files you need to type here the exit okay and type here exit 
and then click on continue with windows 10 so hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix that